In this session, we will talk about combining conditions in WEAR clause. This is Hassan Mir from 02protraining.com. So this is where we left off our previous session. This is SAP HANA Studio. I have created a connection to SAP HANA database by adding a system. I have created two tables, course and student. I have inserted some records into these two tables. Then I have performed some SQL queries and now it's time to take the queries one step forward. So we understand that select statement is used to retrieve records from the database. Select statement is one of the many statements available in SQL structured query language which is a standard language to communicate with relational databases. SAP HANA Studio is also a relational database. Other examples of SQL commands other than select are insert and create that you have also seen in these sessions. We did introduce where clause in the previous session and we have experimented with some where conditions like name not equal to ABAP and we have also seen conditions using between clause and greater than sign, less than sign, etc and also we looked into the like clause. In this session we will see how we can combine two conditions in the WHERE clause. So let's pull up all the records from this course table in this schema. So from clause indicates from which table you want to retrieve the data and the select column list indicates which columns you want to see in the final output and the WHERE clause indicates which records you want to retrieve. So I want to view all the records so I've removed the WHERE clause which is optional. WHERE clause is only included if you want to filter rows. If you don't want to filter rows you will remove the WHERE clause. Let's run this select statement. We see all the records and we see those columns that are given in the column list. If I go back to my SQL tab you can see the columns specified in the column list. So let's add a condition here where ID is less than 002. So I only want to see those records where ID is less than 2. I'm using single quotes here because ID is a varchar column. Let's run this SQL and we only see one record as expected. Let's go back to the SQL tab. Now let's say not only I want to view records where ID is less than 2 but I also want to view those records where ID is greater than 3. How would I combine the two conditions? One condition is ID is less than 2. Another condition is where ID is greater than 3. There has to be a logical separator between the two. Either AND or OR has to be used between these two conditions. Which one would you use? and meaning both conditions have to be true for a record in order for the record to be displayed in the final result. So ID cannot be less than 2 and greater than 3 at the same time. Or meaning either of the two conditions has to be true for the record to be selected in the final display of, of the results. Okay, And that makes perfect sense for us. So in other words what we are saying show us all the records where ID is less than 2 or ID is greater than 3. So imagine SAP HANA scanning the table from top to bottom and going to each record one by one. So first record will be visited and then SAP HANA will say is the ID less than 2 or greater than 3? Yes, then that record would be selected in the final display and next record will be visited and this check will be performed to each record. So if we run this statement, we'll see two records, one with ID less than 2 and one with ID greater than 3. We only have four rows, so we have to play with these. Let's go back to the SQL tab. Let's say now the requirement is that we want to see all the rows where ID is less than 2 or the name of the course starts with A. So any of the two condition could be true and the record then should be available in the final result. So we can say we're name like A percentage starting with A. In quotes we talked about the like clause in the previous session. Okay so where ID is less than 2 or name like 
A percentage. So if the name is starting with A, then ID could be anything. The row will still be visible in the final result, and the row will be available in the final result if ID is less than 2, irrespective of the name. So let's run this SQL, and you see three rows. The first row qualified because of the ID is less than 2. The second row qualified because of the name, and the third row qualified because of the name as well. So let's go back to the SQL tab. Now let's say the requirement changed. We only want to see those records where ID is less than 2 and the name starts with A. So both has to be true now. It's not that if the name starts with A, ID could be anything. Both has to be true. ID has to be less than 2 and the name has to start with A. Let's run this and we will not find anything because the only record with ID less than 2 doesn't have the name starting with A. Now this is a perfect setup for the next scenario. Let's go back to the SQL tab. Keep in mind that less than and less than equal to have two different meaning. So less than equal to uh, as obviously you can see means if the ID is less than 2 or equal to 2. Okay, So now 2 is inclusive. If I run this SQL now I should be able to see at least one record because in this record ID is less than equal to 2 and the name is starting with A. So your WHERE clause could be complex, it could have multiple conditions and they could be separated by AND or OR and you can use brackets to tell the system that AND applies to between these two conditions and OR for example applies to the result of these two then combined uh, with with the third condition with a OR operator. Okay, So this way it's easier from visibility perspective as well as it's easy to tell the system the logic that you have in your mind. So condition 3 is simply uh, some condition that I haven't specified right now. This is just to explain. Also if your WHERE clause is too big you can bring the text into the next line so that it's visually easy to read okay so let's look into a few examples before we call it a day so let's say I want to find out those rows where ID is either 1 2 or 3 there are various ways of doing that one way is I can say where ID is greater than equal to 1 and ID is less than equal to 3. This will give me 1, 2, and 3. If I run this, 1, 2, and 3. So let's go back to the SQL tab. Another way is I can use the between operator, which does the same thing as this. So instead of combining these two conditions together, we can say we're ID between 1 and 3. So 1 and 3 are inclusive. So it's equal to ID is greater than equal to 1 and less than equal to 3. If you run this, you get the same results. Then we have an interesting operator called in, where id in, and in the brackets you can specify the list. We can say with id in 001, comma, 002, all the ids are in, in single quotes because of the varchar is the column type. So we are saying, show us all the records where id is one of these ids. If I run this, I will see the same three records but here the flexibility is that all these three IDs do not have to be in sequence within one range one could be ID 1 another one could be 202 another one could be 3003 we don't have uh, too many records in the table so I'm playing with four records only but this is the flexibility of in operator if I run this I'll only see one row because we don't have 202 and 3003 IDs so any of the condition is true then the row will be visible it's not that all the conditions have to be true so when you write an in operator is equal to you saying where id equal to 001 or id equal to 002 so in operator is a short form for this so if you have 10 values in the in list then you can imagine 10 conditions separated by OR. If I run this, I'll get the same result. 
and let's go back to the SQL tab keep in mind that between operator where ID between 0, 0, 001 and 0, 0, 003 for example is equal to you saying where ID is greater than equal to 0, 0, 001 and ID is less than equal to 0, 0, 003 so in operator is a short form for the two conditions separated by and greater than equal to and less than equal to let's go back to the SQL tab let's say where ID between 0, 0, 001 and 0, 0, 003 keep in mind that the between operator is a short form for writing the two conditions separated by and for example this is equivalent to where ID between 1 and 3 is equivalent to where ID greater than equal to 0, 0, 001 and ID less than equal to 0, 0, 003 if I run this I'll get the same result so the take home is that you can write almost any complex condition in the WHERE clause but mentally you have to be very clear on the logic yourself whether you want to use AND or OR